You're literally doing blackface. Yeah. Okay, this story is insane. So this woman here goes to Target in blackface. Lester Holt did whiteface. Nobody said sh Where's your pride section? I need to know. Oh, I thought they were celebrating this and they took our flag forever. No, I was wrong. My bad. Post it on my Facebook, please. My Facebook friends love it. So uh, this happened in Colorado, so uh, shout out to Colorado. Imagine waking up in the morning and deciding this is what you're gonna do with your day. I am gonna put on some blackface and I'm gonna start some shit. Some men just wanna watch the world burn. And what I don't get is she's wearing blackface to what? Go destroy the pride section in Target? Where's your pride section? Hey, what does blackface have to do with pride? Like she's getting her outrages mixed up. And of course, as she leaves, she walks by this little girl, whose facial expression I think represents how we all feel. But yeah, it's unfortunate that that little girl had to see that. Also, it's weird that this happened at Target because this definitely feels like more of a Walmart thing. But anyway, the story goes deeper. Deeper! Right before this Target video, this woman was at Starbucks. I never treat myself to Starbucks since the post office. Uh, wish me luck, I'm going to the post office for a job. Yeah, you notice she mentioned the post office? Allegedly, she used to work for the Denver post office, but was fired back in February. And was not only fired, but banned completely. Gee, I, I wonder why. Here's a bulletin the post office put up after she was banned. Notice how it says, if you see this woman on the property, first call 911. Now, I couldn't figure out why she was banned, only unconfirmed rumors, but being banned from where you work is not, not, not a positive thing. Now, I also don't know why in the video she says she's headed to the post office for a job months after she was fired, but that can't be good. So anyway, the Starbucks and Target blackface videos both blew up. Then this woman's daughter gets involved and she takes over her mother's Facebook page, which, as you can imagine, had become like a cesspool of far-right trash. So her daughter takes over the Facebook page and posts this. Hey everyone, this is the daughter. As you have all seen, my mother is going through something I can't even put into words. No, her actions are not okay. We have gotten her the help she needs right now. Currently, at this time, the family does ask for time to be able to comprehend what is all going on. So if this is all true, then props to the daughter for at least attempting to take control of the situation. And since then, the Aurora, Colorado Police Department has confirmed that they have made contact with the blackface woman and put her in protective custody. Holy sh**. I'm not a doctor, I'm just another jerk on the internet, but this feels like political indoctrination combined with some kind of mental breakdown. I, I don't know. Either way, I hope she gets the help she needs.